on guys, my name is Pokeballer Luke and welcome to the NPH Season 2 Week 13 Battle. This is the last battle of the regular season and I am proud to announce that the Dallas Star Raptors are officially going to be taking on my good, good friend Baby Powda and the Dunn Sparcelona. So this is a pretty intense battle. We're 9-2. We made playoffs. Uh, we're at the top of our division. We made playoffs, so that's good. But we're battling Baby Powda, my good friend, and I'm really excited for this battle. I really want to beat him. Uh, just because, you know, like I said before, he's such a good friend. So I think that'd be funny just to beat him. Uh, I'm not sure if this battle matters for him or anything. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. He has Mega Altaria. But let's go ahead and go over to team. Oh, and of course, I can't I can't forget. Where are my manners? Check the links in the description. Check out Baby Powda's YouTube channel, Twitch live stream channel and also his twitter he's a really good and funny guy uh like i said go to his videos uh, watch his videos go to his streams you'll have tons of laughs uh he's a hilarious guy anyways today we have a really really i want to say kinky that's definitely not the right word but that's what i want to call it uh gimmicky we have really gimmicky pokemon today okay starting off at our magmartar ugh, magmartar today has belly drum now that is really weird because of the facts who runs physical let alone Belly Drum, Magmortar. But hear me out, this has huge potential to sweep. It has Mach Punch, which not a lot of people know what it gets. It has Mach Punch, and uh, on top of that, it also has uh, Fire Punch and stuff like that. And its last move is, uh, what is it? What's its last move? Thunder Punch, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, we'll get into that. We have our Specs, Zatu, our Bended, um, Don Fan. So those two are both pretty normal. Uh, but our last really like weird well we have two more weird sets I guess we have this gastrodon which is also specs now the point of this thing is to be like it can eat hits and then deliver hits uh, unfortunately it can't recover it has no means of recovery but that's fine and dandy uh, it should be able to like take out like three poker like it's actually really good I used it in some showdown battles earlier and Jesus Christ this thing uh <laughs> it's really it's really unexpected I don't want to say it's like actually good because it is a weird thing but I don't know we'll see how it works uh, and our last weird set is going to be our Metacham, which has Acupressure and Substitute. So Acupressure is really weird, right? Because it um, raises a stat by two, a random stat. So we could potentially get plus two speed, which is, that would be insane. Uh, we could also get plus two attack, which would also be good. Um, we don't have any priority on this Metacham, which is a little scary, but I think we should be fine. Um, and then last we have just have Rocks Cradily, so that's all fine and dandy. So we're going to go ahead and take a picture of his team. Like I said before, he has Mega Altaria. Which can be a huge threat if it gets set up, but I don't think it's going to really get set up against us. I'm not too afraid of it. Um, we have a good enough, we have good things to counter it, like uh, the Cradilia can counter it. The Gastrodon has Blizzard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of his team right now. There we go. Um, so yeah, he has his Altaria. He has Curum Black. He has Greninja, which we don't know, guys. Uh, you're allowed to draft Greninja, but it cannot have Protein. It has Torrent. He has his Mew. Okay, so his potential leads are his last three Pokemon, which would be Mew, Bronzong, and Roserade. Now, looking off of this, do, like, okay, I think we could potentially get a Belly Drum start up. How crazy would that be? Because he might lead with Roserade or Bronzong, right? And either of them, we can get a Belly Drum off and just KO a few things from there. Uh, I'm not sure if Magmortar has the potential to sweep this entire team. Mew kind of stops it pretty well. Um, so that's scary. Obviously, you have Mach Punch, which can hit uh, Greninja and Kirin Black, Fire Punch, and uh, I guess I guess uh, Altaria might be able to stop it too. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it is also plus six. So now I'm at, we will lead with the Magmortar, and we'll see how this goes. Anyways, we have 28 seconds. I don't want to lose any time, but let's get right into the battle. I'm nervous. My mouth is already dry. Like I said, we're already confirmed for playoffs, so I'm not... There's not too much pressure, but I, again, I really want to win this battle just to piss him off. <laughs> um, so we're going to lead with L, the L's, all these L's that he's, uh, that Jared's about to be taking. He's going to lead with Marluxia. Okay, cool. So it's Roserade. That's good. That's really good. Now we get the free Belly Drum. He's probably going to switch out. Um, do I go for the Belly Drum straight off? What if he switches into something? I just like lose my Citrus Berry and everything. Ah, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. It's last week. Let's have some fun. Because if this belly drum sweep happens, I'm going to die. I'm, I would give him such a hard time. Alright, we'll go for belly drum. Oh, he stays in! Why would he stay in? Because a fire blast would easily KO and we outspeed, as you see now. 
And even if we don't outspeed, he won't be able to KO us. Is he gonna like extra sensory? I guess I could do so. Okay. Okay, he goes for toxic spikes. Now that I think about it, does this thing get earth power? That would kind of suck. Uh, I don't think it gets earth power. I know it gets extra sensory. I know a lot of people run with that. You guys like hidden power rock? I don't know why you would be carrying that. All right, so now we go for the fire punch. That's gonna be enough to KO him though, because obviously we outsped. The toxic spikes do suck. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world though. All right, so we go for fire punch, and that should be bye bye to Roserade. There we go. Oh, okay, now it's scarfed or uh, sash, scarf, sash, same thing. Oh, we get the burn. That's crazy. Uh, he goes for the toxic spikes again. And unfortunately for him, he is going to still go down to the burn. So, I don't need to waste another fire punch. I guess I didn't make too much of a difference. We'd be able to kill him next turn. We saved some PP, so that's that's what it's all about. Uh, if I were him, I would go into Altaria or Mew now. I'd probably stay in just because of the fact that uh, I already used my belly drum. This thing's useless without a belly drum, to be honest. i just like go for like a hardcore mock punch or something. Okay, so he goes into Greninja. Oh, what if he's sashed? What if he's sashed and he lives the mock punch? I'm gonna go for the mock punch. I th what can I switch into? I could potentially switch into Gastro down here, right? Because I could eat like the Scald or whatever he goes for. But then, then Magmordar is useless. Like I might as well go for it. There's no point of saving Magmordar. All right, we'll go for the mock punch. Hopefully he's not Sash. I don't know why he'd be running two Sash Pokemon. That'd be weird. Um, but he might be. You never know. I have two Specs Pokemon. Okay, nice. He doesn't have it. There we go. All right, we're already starting this out with a 6-4 to four lead. That's crazy. We're leading by 2 right now. What's he going to go into now? Uh, okay. He could possibly go into the Mew. He could possibly go into... Oh, you know what? I'm not sure if Mach Punch kills Kyurem. I mean, we are plus 6. It should kill, right? Uh, he might go into Altaria. If I were him, I'd go into Altaria here. He can honestly eat anything that he wants to and goes for a Dragon Dance. If he's running Dragon Dance. Maybe he's special. Special Altaria actually does a good amount of work to our team. I know I personally run Special Altaria with Hyper Voice more. I love that set. It's fun. Okay, yeah. He's probably going to go into Altaria. He goes into... Oh! Okay. Grande Negro... Which is going to be his Kieran Black. Uh, Terra Volt, I don't remember what that even does. Not anything useful. Um, I'm not sure if Mach Punch will kill here. I, I think it has a chance to kill. I remember I calped it before. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't remember if I already said this, but... I can't have calcs open because recently my computer updated to Windows 10. And it's really laggy when I have any other windows open and recording with 10,000 bitrate. So, I can't have calcs open this battle, at least. I'm going to try and fix that, uh, fix, work on that later to get the lag situation fixed. But I'm pretty sure Mach Punch has a chance to kill, so we'll see what it does. Ah, do I, there's nothing really to switch into here. Alright, I'm going to go for it. YOLO, guys. Mach Punch goes off, and, oh, it's not enough, damn it. Alright, he's going to go for Earth Power. Okay, so... I guess we go down. That sucks. Um. Jesus Christ. This thing puts a big toll. I'm gonna go into Medicham here. Because though we don't have any priority, I'm pretty sure he can't Oko us. Alright, so we take the Toxic, whatever. Um, I have to Mega. Will Ice Punch kill? I don't wanna risk a high jump kick, really. Ice Punch should kill. Do I risk it? I know high jump kick will obviously kill. Alright, I'll go for the... Uh, I'll go for Ice Punch. It should kill. That should be enough. I know he can't KO us if he goes to Earth Power again. I mean, what if he has Outrage? I don't know if that was actually the best play in the world. Uh, if we lose Medicham, I'd be actually so upset. Because Medicham's a pretty decent win condition here. Uh, obviously, he has Ice Punch, which does a lot of work. He's going to go for the Earth Power. Okay, so he must be Scarfed. Okay, we, we live that nicely. We go for the Ice Punch. Alright, it's enough to take him out. There we go. Wait, how did it... How is that not super effective? Is Ice or is this Ice? I didn't know that. Oh, he's not Dragon, is he? He's like... 
Electric? How did I not even know it was typing? Okay, so I definitely should have gone for the high jump kick. That was supposed to be... Okay. I don't want to lose my Metachim. We're going to make the switch here into Zatu. Um, I know this might honestly be a sack. I really don't want to be taking... Yeah, I don't want to take a return. I don't want to lose Metacham right now. Uh, it could potentially sweep, you know, in the late game against a lot of his other Pokemon. So I'm going to go into Zatu here. Zatu can do some work. Um, I don't know what IVs he's running in all. Or EVs, I'm sorry. So there's a chance, like what's set Altaria. There's a chance Zatu actually will be able to like, um, completely destroy this thing. So we're going to L. L. Take this L. Uh, he's gonna Mega Evolve, obviously. Stratus. I like that nickname. I nicknamed mine Stratus, actually. It's a cool name. Uh, he, oh, god damn it. Okay, so he goes for Dragon Dance. Uh, that's scary. I He might be able to KO us now. I have Dazzling Gleam. I'm gonna go for that. That should do good damage to him. I should do good damage. He's going for the return. Yeah, that's enough. Damn it. Okay. So there goes Zatu. That sucks, man. Zatu honestly hasn't gotten much of a chance to shine. It makes me sad. At this point, I think... It's either Donphan or Cradily. I Donphan is the bandit set. Cradily has more defense in it this time around. So I'll go into Cradily here. Oh, the toxic is annoying. Or poison, whatever it is. I have Bulldoze, I can go for Bulldoze, I can go for Seed Bomb, I can go for Stone Edge. I, I don't want to set up Rocks, obviously, I, I feel like there's no point to do that, because he has, what, Bronzong left, we got Roserade, we got Kirin Black, and we got Greninja. Okay, so yeah, so he has Mew, and Altaria, and Bronzong left. Okay, so I'm going to go for Stone Edge. That's definitely thing to do. He's going to go for the Return. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so that's enough to take us out. Oh, I didn't know that was enough. You know what? Okay, so Donphan is sturdy. I'm gonna go into Donphan and see if I can hit him with anything. Oh, God. He set up on us good. He got he got a good advantage here. <gasps> oh, I oh my God, damn it! I have Gyro Ball. I have Gyro Ball. I could have gone in earlier. Alright, we still have a chance to bring this back. Um, obviously, you can't kill us with Sturdy. Depending on how much his attack does to us, his uh, return or whatever he goes for, depending on how much that does, we might be able to live another turn and attack again. I'm going to go for the Gyro Ball. We are Brave Nature, so he's going to go for the return. Okay, that doesn't even take us to Sturdy. We'll be able to live another turn. So, Gyro Ball goes off. Bam. Okay, there he goes. That, that went well, that went well. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna take some poison damage, that sucks. But we could be able to get another, we're gonna get another Gyro Ball off. If he goes in a Bronzong, Jesus Christ. That'd be awful if he goes in a Bronzong. Uh, he probably doesn't know we're banded, so he might not. He might think we have Earthquake, obviously, and I can outspeed. All right, he's gonna go to Mew, yeah, that makes sense. Um, he probably is gonna KO us here. I wish I could go for a knockoff. But yeah, we're choice banded. Uh, Gyro Ball, ugh, this, I don't know, it depends on what Metacham does, whether we win or not. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Gyro Ball here, here we go. He's gonna go for the Scald, okay. Scald, that's not bad. Oh, you know what, there's a chance Gastrodon can win us this game. Gastrodon, oh, I wish it wasn't this bad. Uh, if I was like, just regular leftover set. Um, okay, we're gonna go into... Can either one. Uh, I'll go into Gastrodon now. Yeah, because we should. Well, if he's like choice in the Scald, we're easily able to eat that, right? Nice. Okay, so we should be able to take this thing out. Now I need to lock myself into something correct. All right, we're gonna lock ourselves into Earth Power. We're definitely. I don't think be able to kill this thing in one turn, but it shouldn't be able to. It obviously can't Scald us to death. And Earth Power hits his Bronzong, so we're gonna lock ourselves into Earth Power. I'm glad that I still have that. Oh! Who the hell runs... 
I guess he made that specifically because Gastrodon has been a threat. Okay, so he takes down Gastrodon. So we know he's not the choice. It all comes down to what his speed is here. Um, Ice Punch should do more because, yeah, High Jump Kick is resisted. All right. <laughs> this isn't looking too good, guys. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. We're going to have to go for Ice Punch. Here we go. Come on, cross our fingers. We get a crit. We get a free. Oh. He outspeeds? No. Okay. Damn it. All right. It looks like that's going to be the game. I guess Jared won. He got the crit. That to that mattered. That crit. I'm so sick of these hacks. That crit mattered so... No, obviously that crit didn't matter at all. But unfortunately, we lost to Jared. Um, good congratulations to him, I guess. Uh, good job at winning, Jared. Great game, dude. <clears throat> Remember, guys, like I said, go hit up Baby Pauda and subscribe to him. He's a really funny, cool guy. And I'll have to get him. I'll have to... I'll have to I'll have to get him next time, I guess. I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that I lost there. That sucked. I could I could have had the potential if I wasn't running that acupressure. Um, and if I was running more of a defensive gastrodon, I guess that would have been better. Uh, looking at it in hindsight, obviously hindsight doesn't mean much. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be the battle, guys. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and leave a like. I'll see you all in the NPA playoffs, which are coming in, I believe, two weeks. We'll have a special video for you guys next Sunday. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next video.